sticking with the three-man weave, we'll add a little more action to this. We'll actually add some defenders in here, working on uh, a good closeout, defending the jump shooter, as well as getting our traditional three-man weave layup. All right, let's walk through again the basics of three-man weave. Pass and walk behind. Pass and walk behind. All right, now stop right here. So your one guy is still going to shoot that layup, just as in any other three-man weave. Your other two p passers and cutters are going to break out wide as they're following right in their motions. As soon as they get out there, the two people underneath the basket with the basketball are going to throw it out and work on a good closeout. Pass out, close out, defend the shooter. The shooters are going to shoot their shot and get their own rebound. Go ahead. Shoot, get your own rebound, and they're going to quickly hustle underneath the basket. Now, if you have more players than we have here today, you can have extra players underneath the basket ready to go to keep the drill moving a little faster. All right, but right now we only have the two players with the balls, but you can have extra players behind with two basketballs ready to go. The shooter's going to shoot the layup. He's going to get his own rebound and get off the floor. The two shooters are going to get their rebounds and get underneath the basket again. Okay, the defenders are going to close out, a good defensive closeout. They're not going to fly by on defense, come to a good closeout, and they're going to run to the outsides after they're done. All right, this is how it looks, three-man weave with defense. All right, look sharp now, guys. Good passes, good cuts. Let's make that layup. You see the other two guys break out, close out, defend the shot. Pass, good. Close out, guard that shooter, nice. You're getting three shots here quickly, getting a lot of passing, a lot of cutting. You get a layup in and two jumpers in a relatively short period of time. It's a good warm-up drill. All of your warm-up drills should have a lot of movement, a lot of shots, a lot of passes, a lot of cutting, trying to take most efficient use of your time. Again, always stress to your players doing the little things right, good passes, a good closeout, making the layup, concentrating, good two-hand chest pass, finish the layup, nice. Couple more, guys, couple more. Again, it would move a lot quicker if you've got other people underneath the basket ready to step in as passers. Good, again, the shooters get their own rebounds. The defenders close out, come to a good close out, and they run out to the outside. All right, let's hold it up right there. All right, that's three-man weave shooting with defenders. Again, you're getting a lot of action in this drill. Passing, cutting, layups, uh, and especially working against defense. Can't tell you how important that is in your pregame drills. As you know from your past history, a lot of your pregame drills are just layups, wide open shots, really not game-like. Here you're getting some game-like action with a pass and a guy closing out on you to shoot. So we're really trying to simulate a game activity here. And this is a great drill to get your players ready to shooting against pressure defense as someone coming out of it. All right, now we're moving on to another variation of the three-man weave. It's three pass, three layups. All right, we're going to get the three-man weave rotations. Let's walk through them here. Pass, go behind. Pass and go behind. Now we get to this point. Let's stop right here. Stop right there. When the guy catches it going in for a layup, the other two players are going to pass and get as wide as they can. Get as wide as they can, touch the sidelines. The guy who shoots his layup is going to get his own rebound. Okay, shoot your layup. Get your rebound. The first closest guy will be over to his left here. He's going to step. He's coming in for the two-foot power layup. Now, as he shoots, let's hold it right there. The guy who passed it to him is now going to run out to the out to the corner. He's going to wait for an outlet pass a little later in this drill. Okay, he's going to shoot his layup. The next, the third guy's coming in. He's going to shoot a layup, get his own rebound. And here's where we make the outlet pass, and we throw it to the next guy in line waiting. We already have a ball set, so the next group will start right away. Let's go again. If you want to start slow, we'll speed up. Again, the other two guys go wide. Guy gets his rebound. Shoots it in for the two-foot power layup. Again, he stays wide looking for the outlet. We get out of the net. We make the outlet pass. Throw it to the second guy in line. Next group is going. Good passes, good layups. Get your own rebounds. Hand of the two-foot power layup. Two-foot power layup. Good. Hand it off. Two-foot power layup. Get your own rebound outlet. Throw it to the second guy in line. Good. Make it sharp. Make it sharp, guys. Make the layups. Get the ball out of the net. Hand it to him. Two-foot power layup. Get it out of the net. Hand it to him. Two-foot power. Good. Outlet, next group is going quickly, right after another. Working on good passing, cutting, layups. Working on the two-foot power layups down here. Looking sharp, getting your hands ready. Good touch passes. Again, the drill moves quickly. Getting a lot of touches, a lot of shots. The drill looks sharp, it's run right. You're making good passes, no turnovers. The layups are made. All right, last one, let's get through it right here. 
looks sharp here. Make the layup, good. Out of the net, guy gets out for the outlet, good. Hands it off again for the two-foot power layup, out of the net, outlet pass, and the drill is complete. This pregame drill is called the mascot drill. Obviously, you can call it whatever you want, whatever your mascot is, you just name it that. This is a great drill for a couple of reasons. One, again, you're getting a lot of movement, good passing, uh, some dribbling, jump stops in here. You're getting some layups. You're also getting an opportunity as a coach to come out here. I really think this is important to get on the floor before the game, whether it's the head coach or the assistant coach. I think they should be out here through all your warm-ups, not necessarily the head coach, but a coaching staff member should be out here watching all of your pregame drills. But this is a great opportunity to get a coach on the floor, talking to your players as they're shooting their layups, hopefully giving them positive feedback on the great things that they're doing. All right, let's walk through this drill. This is how it's going to look. You see we've got our lines set up. We've got three lines here. The, ball in the, the line in the corner is going to have the basketballs. It's going to start out first. We're going to make a good outlet pass, a nice two-hand pass, and he's going to run to the middle. Stop. Right there. He's going to run to the middle of these two lines. He's going to receive the pass back, and now he's going to throw it to the top line. Once he catches it now, these two guys are going to attack the basket. He's going to drive it hard to the free throw line and stop right there. The man who passed it now is going to go to the end of the line, over there, okay? and he's going to get off the floor. These two are going to, again, attack the basket. He's going to drive it hard to the free throw line, come to a two-foot jump stop. He's going to be cutting to the basket for a layup. Bounce pass and a layup. Now, as soon as this person shoots the layup, let's stop right there. The person who made the pass, the person who made the pass is going to follow it in and get the rebound. And it's his job now to pass it and get back at the end of the line. The shooter, and this is what I'm talking about as a coach, a good spot for you to be on the floor is right here. Because I, want you, I would really recommend and encourage you to talk to all your players as they come through on these layups. So when the shooter talks, you may want to come by, give your, give your guy a little high five, tell him nice shot or whatever, maybe miss the layup, tell him to, to keep working on concentrating or whatever it is. But a good opportunity to give some positive strokes to each player as they come by. All right, let's look how this, look, take a look at this drill full speed here. Let's go. Good pass, catch, get it back, good. Now we drive it hard, jump stop, bounce pass for the layup. Let's go. Concentrate. Make those layups. Concentrate layup. Make sure you go behind the coach. Make sure the guy shoots the layup, comes behind the coach. Good job. Come to a good two-foot jump stop. Bounce pass. Nice. Good job. Coach can give some positive strokes as the guy comes by for the layup. Let's go. Make the good layup. A good pass. Drive it hard. A good jump stop at the free throw line. Make that layup. Hustle on out. Shooter gets done. Makes the layup. Gets right off the floor. Good job. The ball's moving, guys. There's not a lot of weight. And passing. Getting it back. Pass. Get it back. Drive it hard. Jump stop, try to work on your timing on the layups, guys. Work on your timing so you're coming hard to the layup. Don't want to come too soon on that layup line. You want to wait till your dribbler catches the ball. Wait till he catches it, now you both attack together. Come to a good two-foot jump stop. Wait till the dribbler catches it, wait till he gets it. Now you come together, good. Jump stop, pass, nice. That's it, good. The coach is here. The coach is here to make sure you get positive feedback to the players. As they run around, you may want to high five them and talk to them a little bit. But again, good passing, cutting. Let's finish with this one right here. Drive it hard, two-foot jump stop, take it in for the layup, good. That's your mascot drill. Again, call it what you want, your team mascot. But again, I stress to you as a coach to get out here on the court, talk to your players as they're shooting their layups, encourage them, uh, encourage them at every chance you get, let them know how important it is that they look sharp in three game drills, getting ready for the big game. Pass, skip, and cut drill. Take a look at the alignments. We got a guy in the corner, guy free throw on extended, a line in the middle with the ball, and here we got a little outlet man to the other side of the court. Let's go quick walk through now. The first man in this drill is gonna, first time only, is gonna dribble all the way to the basket to start the drill. He dribbles it in, gets his own rebound, shoots his layup, gets his own rebound. He's gonna make a quick outlet now. Let's hold it there. This man's gonna skip it across. The shooter is gonna take that spot. Good. Pass across, take his spot, pass to the baseline, and now we cut in for the next layup. All right, let's stop right there. Again, the outlet pass, good. He follows to his spot, good. Now we skip, let's stop right here. When the ball is in flight, when the ball is in flight across the court, that's the cue for the next man to make his cut to the basket. And his cut is like this. He's walk, driving it hard towards the ball. He gets to about the elbow, he's gonna make a sharp cut to the basket looking for the pass back for the layup. It's not a direct cut to the basket, it's a sharp angled cut. He's looking to change speeds and get open for the layup. But he doesn't move until the ball is in flight. All right, let's take a look at this one full speed. Let's get it going. Again, first, start, first guy starts out dribbling all the way to the basket. Gets his own rebound, makes a good outlet pass. OK, 
Okay, here's the skip pass. Pass, skip, and cut drill. Good layup, gets his rebound. The man waits the ball's in flight. There it's in flight, you see the next cutter coming. Good, gets his rebound, snaps it out. Here's the skip pass. Here's the cutter. Pass, skip, and cut drill. Good, outlet pass. Good, skip drill, nice. Good V cut to the basket, nice pass. Finishes the layup, outlet. Good, again, fast moving drill. You're working on some different passes, some different cuts, getting an angle. It's a great for your motion offense when you're trying to get a good backdoor cut. You're working on ball movement, man movement. As you can see, they pass and move. Everybody passes and moves. They don't pass and stand. They pass and move on every opportunity. A couple more, guys. Finish strong. Good. You get your rebound, outlet. Good skip pass. Ball's in flight. The next man's coming. Good. These guys are all rotating after every pass. As you can see, the last man in the corner, he's done. He goes to the end of the drill to start the new drill. This guy down here will be done. He makes the pass, he's off the court. Next guy moves down one, everybody moves over a spot, you can see the rotation. All right, let's finish it right here. Good, the pass, skip, and cut 